Found a Pro V1. For serious? Yeah. Is it tarnished? Doesn't look to be. You ever think? Don't do it. You ever think when you're looking for the pinnacle, you duck hooked into the woods because you shut your club face due to early extension because you tried to save it at the end by flipping into impact? You go to look for the pinnacle and you come across a brand new Pro V1 and you think, I should buy a lottery ticket because I'm the luckiest SOB on the face of the entire planet Earth. I think that sometimes. You didn't find a Pro V1, friend. You found money. Let's get stuck in. Mud's muddy. Careful you don't lose your boots. You find a new Pro V1, which you can't appreciate as much as the lawyer who bought it because gifts are never appreciated as much as the things you work for. So you use the Pro V1 for the rest of the round, taking every shot for granted. Your swing smooths out and is unrestricted as the golf gods carry you from hole to hole on old Tom Morris's chariot made of gold. Water left, water right, tuck flag. Tee up your newfound Pro V1, fire at the pin. You didn't buy it, who cares? Result. Hole in one. Beverage car curl. Top off, marker in hand, wants you to sign her tits, free beer. Grumpy old man starter. Tear joy, hat off, free beer. Also marker in hand. You run? You signed them. Hole in ones don't discriminate. Question. While you're signing various tits, there is a lawyer in Manhattan on a rooftop bar lamenting at the $4.29 Pro V1 that he lost in the woods a week ago, resulting in him questioning his release into impact. Because he only has one ball left, which further results in further swing faults, leading him to a great sub-90 round and to a tragic score of 111. He's crestfallen. He drinks his sorrows for the next week and finds himself on a rooftop bar contemplating the meaning of life. Does he jump? He does not. He heads into court and delivers the worst closing statement of his professional career. An innocent man is given the death penalty. His wife leaves him while he's on death row and his children start an OnlyFans page simply to make ends meet. His lethal injection, that's botched. And it takes him over 17 hours to die and the entire time that he struggles for his last breath, all that he could think about is the Pro V1 in your hand that set this tragic chain of events into motion. My question, was your hole in one worth all that suffering? Yes. Agreed, good ace. Pro V1, which you no can't. Pro, pro, pro. Yeah. <laughs> you find a no pro, pro, pro. Uh. Hello. Mud's muddy. Careful you don't lose your boots.